quick video on arc block I don't really do this my first video making on a crypto a little bit about arc block um when I got into it it got demolished it was like 99% down and I was looking at it I went on their website and honestly I, I checked their website again today because they're pumping hard like like Hard as shit, dude. But the first thing I saw on the website when I went on there in January 2024, Art Block will reinvent Web3. And you'll see why 2024 won't be like 2024. <laughs> I don't know what they meant by that last part, but yeah, bro. It sounds bullish. I don't know. But basically, I went on there and check them out because I kind of like, it was like a lottery player for me. I saw a low market cap. It was like six, five or six million market cap when I got in on it. Now it's like 25 million. Good supply too. Um, 98.6 million tokens. So it's not like ridiculous, like these meme coins where it's like 80 trillion tokens, you know. So they're 25 cents right now. Um, number 681. Uh, so it's kind of like far down on the, excuse me, on like the top coins. It's still like a really low market cap. Like I said, 25 million, still a micro cap. And I've already seen like a 4X gain because I got in so or like seven, six, seven cents, something like that. And now it's 25 cents. But a little bit about Arc Block, um, this is why I'm bullish on them. Like their main objective is to like make like the more user friendly because a lot of these uh decentralized applications are just like for nerds only like a basic person would get on there and be like dude what the fuck is this you know um that's one thing they're trying to work on so the developers can focus more on the technology versus like the user interface because that's like big a lot of these exchanges like coinbase and binance and stuff i'd say coinbase is the easiest user interface for sure um because you can be like a complete noob to crypto and download Coinbase and be like, oh, you know, Binance, no, yeah, a little bit more complicated, crypto.com, pretty easy. But some of these other exchanges where it's just like, it looks like the Matrix, you know, it's like not very user friendly. I'm not going to lie. Like, I'm pretty tech savvy. And even me, I'm like, oh, what the fuck is this shit? I've been doing this for like seven years now when it was just mostly Bitcoin and Ethereum and you had like Cardano and Dogecoin. Now you got like so many coins. It's like ones that come out every day. It's ridiculous. Like it's pretty crazy. It used to be a badge of honor to be listed on Coinbase. And now it's like they just be listing anything on there. I feel like just to make money from the like um, the fees and stuff, you know, because even if it's, the prices are going up and down, there's exchanges, best believe they're making money off people selling and buying because they're getting a little chunk off each transaction. Especially Coinbase, they be pooping on people with transactions. Um, but yeah, a little bit more about Artblock. Let's see, Artblock's mission. Make decentralized applications or dApps a part of our everyday lives by making it easily accessible and useful. So basically like what I said, they're just trying to make it more user friendly so developers can focus more on the technology. And um, basically they're trying to, it's like combining microservice architecture with cloud computing. Um, I, can, I guess I can give you two examples of these because it's like people probably hear those words and like, what the fuck is a cloud computing? What is microservice architecture? Really, bro? All right, so in simpler terms, microservice uh, architecture examples would be like Netflix, Amazon, Uber. Um, they've adopted the microservices to basically achieve scaling solutions, business agility, and profitability. So... Um, yeah, and basically they're just, it's like many services within, it's hard to explain. It's like a pattern of applications built on a collection of small independent services. It sounds like it's kind of hard to explain, but 
Um, the, the, yeah, the cloud computing thing would be more, an example of that would be like Xbox, you know? Like instead of downloading a game, like I don't know if you guys play games, like video games is just an example, so you can kind of understand what cloud computing is. Um, so if you got Xbox Live, you get on Xbox and you're like on Game Pass and all these games on there, yeah, you can install a game now or you can do cloud gaming, which is like, it's just streaming and fucking, I don't even know how it works, you know? Because these games are large, it's like, 50 gigabytes of data, you know, and they're just streaming that, bro. I don't know, that's cool technology. Apparently, it's like, it is new, because it's, I mean, it's been adopted by a lot of people. Microsoft uses it, obviously, Xbox, and pretty sure Sony is probably using it for PlayStation. And now it's being uh, applied in blockchain, combined with the multi-service uh, architecture. Yeah. Sounds complicated, but it's really not. They're just trying to make uh, shit simpler for people so their developers can focus more on the technology but their price has been pumping hard and like I said if you go on their website it just looks like really it, their website just looks clean and like presentable and like it's just well put together the team is pretty solid there's a video on there explaining what the team is and uh, what they do the video was bullish too I saw the video and I was like wow even like the choreography of everything was filmed well and they have the, some of the um, the, t the team leads or whatever you want to call. I don't know exactly who they are. There's like some Indian dude. Don't know his name. And then some guy sounds like he's like from Europe or something. But the, obviously they know what they're doing because the price is pumping like crazy right now. Um, price prediction wise, Arc Block right now at 25 cents at a $25 million market cap. With this low supply like that, it's like basically a hundred million. You might as well call it that. I mean, I don't see any reason why ArcLight can't hit five or ten dollars. You know, possibly twenty or more. I mean, like just to get to one billion market cap would put it at like ten dollars or something, I believe. Roundabout. So, I mean, imagine. If Dogecoin and some of these coins that ain't worth a fuck can hit 80 to 100 million and ArcLock is at 25 million market cap right now, imagine if it got to just 5 or 10 billion. That's like 100x, dude. That's more than, a, I'm pretty sure that's more than 100x. You know? I might be buying a house off ArcLock, guys, so honestly. Like, if it does what I, if ArcLock does what it does, that's like life changing wealth, buddy. You know? I don't even have that money. I mean, I put a couple hundred dollars in it, like a six, uh, six, seven cents. And like I said, I'm already in four figures now and it's at a 25 million market cap. So this is one that I'm definitely bullish as shit on, guys. Uh, I suggest you probably could cop a bag of art block if you ain't already been looking at it. Um, I just see a lot of potential with this project, guys. And... It's not financial advice, but I'm just trying to make everybody see some good games. I ain't shilling no coins, you know? I got like 20 some subscribers. I just want everybody else to make games too. Still a micro cat, buddy. values in this stuff comment like comment subscribe you know comment what you think art blocks going to what's your guys price predictions for art block you know think it's trash think it's a shit coin let me know you know i'm open to, let's talk about it what you guys think about art block because it's been taking over my motherfucking portfolio and i'm signing off later bro